Well, so far this Ohio State-Penn State game is playing out just like most people thought it would. A low-scoring, kind of defensive, back-and-forth type of game. Ohio State caught a huge break in this one about halfway through the second quarter. Uh, they were driving down the field. Uh, McCord was hit in the backfield, fumbled, scoop and score for Penn State defensively. But the touchdown was negated by a defensive holding penalty in the secondary and you've seen it a million times, right? Uh, a penalty wipes away the touchdown. The other team then capitalizes with a touchdown of their own, and that's what happened. Ohio State went right down. Mayan Williams scored on like a one, two-yard touchdown run to cap off the drive. That was the only touchdown of the first half. Your score, Ohio State 10, uh, Penn State 6. So each team basically with two uh Two scoring drives. Not a lot of offense here. Drew Aller, 6 of 17 for 91 yards. So just under, or under 50%. That's about 35% completion percentage. Kyle McCord at a 50% completion percentage. 11 of 21 for 125 yards. Neither quarterback has a touchdown uh, or an interception. Um, 70 yards rushing for Penn State. 62 for Ohio State. Just not a lot of offense. A defensive back and forth. Thing. Looks a lot like the Notre Dame Ohio State game from earlier uh, earlier in the year. Still anybody's game though at halftime. Ohio State ten, Penn State six. The kind of biggest surprise in these early games is the Oklahoma Central Florida game. Soon, I, what are the Sooners doing now? Maybe you, you know you say, well, I didn't get a big win over Texas, but that was two weeks ago. You shouldn't be having a hangover from a big win two weeks from two weeks ago. They were off last week. Oklahoma was. You have fourteen days to celebrate that Texas win. They're tied up at halftime with Central Florida 17 apiece, and they had to kick a field goal late in the second half just to tie things up. I don't know what's going on with the Boomer soon. Did the wagon tip over again or what? I don't know what's going on, but Central Florida, Goose Malzoon, head coach Goose Malzoon, this guy's terrible. Goose, the, 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 Central, the woo, Central Florida woozies led by Goose Malzoon all tied up at halftime 17 apiece with Oklahoma. At home for Oklahoma. I expect Oklahoma to put a new wooden wheel on that fucking wagon at halftime and come out and handle their business in the second half of that game. This is unacceptable. Like, tied with Goose Malzoon. Oh, my God. Get it together, Oklahoma, man. Uh, Arkansas, speaking of no offense, Arkansas and Mississippi State. Mississippi State 7, Arkansas 3. Uh, both of their helmets are upside down. Mississippi State helmet upside down. Arkansas helmet upside down. Whichever one wins an SEC game, the helmet gets turned up and they're each playing. Neither one of these teams have an SEC win all year. One of them's going to get one today. Mississippi State 7, Arkansas 3. The only touchdown in this game was a pick 6 on like the third play of the game. Other than that, no offense at all. But one of those helmets will get turned back uh, the right way. Of course, the Colorado helmet's just going to stay upside down until, until um, I change my mind, which there's no telling that could be. Uh, that could be a long, 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 long time from now. Georgia Tech is losing to Boston College. Georgia Tech has, like, they're bipolar or something. Um, I mean, there's a lot wrong with Georgia Tech. They're a terrible team and an even worse program, and that's a bad situation to find yourself in. It's one thing to have a bad team or something, but if you have a terrible program, that's hard to overcome, and uh, Georgia Tech uh, does. 17-10, to 10, they're losing to Boston College at halftime. Boston College is horrific. Georgia Tech's at least got to get to the point where they can beat the worst teams in the league, can't they? You at least got to be able to beat the Virginias and the Boston Colleges of the world. They're losing. Another pick six in that game is the difference. Boston, Georgia Tech threw a pick six, um, and they're down by seven, so it's literally the difference in that game. Baylor and Cincinnati in the two-win bowl, both of those teams are two and four. I forgot either one of those teams even were still playing this year, to be honest. 20-14, uh, to 14, Baylor up by six over Cincinnati at halftime. Memphis and UAB tied 21 apiece. It's really about it. Not a lot of big games on. Air Force up seven to nothing over Navy. How come nobody gives a shit about Air Force Navy? Why does the Air Force get shit on? The Army-Navy game, everybody loves that game, or at least you have to pretend to love it on the internet, or you get accused of hating America and all this kind of stuff. But nobody gives a shit about the Air Force-Navy game. And, and Air Force is the best team of the bunch! They're actually undefeated in rank. Air Force could be on their way to a New Year's Six Bowl, as weird as that sounds, if they're not busy uh, doing whatever it is we're not about to be doing in the whole Israel-Palestine deal, which I'm not getting into. Uh, for reasons that should be obvious uh, to anyone with a, with, with a brain, uh, which means anyone other than South Carolina fans. 
Uh, anyway, uh, going to be a great second half here at Penn State and Ohio State. You kind of get the feeling, <laughs> I thought, you know, I thought maybe first, first one to 30 wins the game. You thought maybe first one to 20 wins this game here. This is, uh, I, don't, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, both the quarterbacks have had bad first halves. But these are two really, really good defenses, too, Ohio State and Penn State. Um, I, I know it's fun to troll Ohio State about being soft. And they are soft, and their coach is soft. And the thing is, it bothers him. It bothers Ryan Day when we call him soft. So, of course, we're going to keep doing it. But Ohio State's defense is legit this year. It really is. It's, it's, it's miles better um, than it was uh, last year. Uh, three of the best defenses in the country, if you just look at all the different stats and everything, three of the best defenses in the country, Ohio State, Penn State, and Michigan, all in the Big Ten East. Um, anyway, so we'll see what happens in the second half. Hopefully it'll be a good one. Um, I'm on. Uh, if, uh, I'm streaming the noon games on Patreon, so for those of you who are members on the Patreon page, come on over there, hang out with us for the second half. I'll be live on YouTube at 3.30 for all the afternoon games, which of course includes the Hill Jacks of Tennessee who are doing another fucking gimmick. I, oh my God. I might, should I make a, I might make a separate video on that. I might make a separate video on that real quick before kickoff, but Tennessee's doing yet another uniform gimmick. They're wearing uniforms that they're calling the Stormtrooper uniforms. That's right, Tennessee on the road at Alabama, and they're doing the stupid friggin' Stormtrooper uh, gimmick. Here, let me see it. Here you go. Can you see that? There. That's their Twitter account. What is it? Hold on, let me show you. They, they don't want to call it the Stormtroopers, not me. The official official account of Tennessee football. Look, Stormtroopers. What are y'all doing? Every week it's a different damn gimmick with Tennessee. I don't know. Tennessee at Alabama, we'll see what happens. That one comes on at 3.30. Gimmick University at it again on the road, Tuscaloosa. Live on YouTube at 3.30. We'll stream all the afternoon games and hang out and watch some football. Have a good morning!